hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to disable windows automatic update on windows 11 permanently guys so if the windows update keeps popping up or if you do not want to update your windows 11 and want to get rid of the it permanently there are four steps to do it guys let's jump straight into it let's go to search window and type Task scheduler T A S K S H S C H U D L E R. We just need to click on it and go to Task scheduler library. Click on it, expand it, guys. Go to Microsoft, Microsoft is expand it. After going Microsoft, here is a window option just need to expand it in windows option you just need to search for windows update windows update you need to search for windows update here is guys windows update you just need to click on it on right side just need to right click on the scheduled start right click on it and just need to disable it guys disable it after that close out of here let we will finish the first step guys let's move on to the next step go to service search menu and type service services open it and in here you need to search for windows update service guys for that you need to click on anything here and type keyboard in w windows update service update you just need to double click on it and if the startup type is running you just need to stop it and startup type to disable you just need to select disabled and apply and ok after that close out of care guys let's move on to the third step edit group policy go to search menu and type edit a e d i t G R O U P group policy control panel setting open it in here you need to go to wait for it guys computer configuration click on it uh, in here inside of it administrative templates expand it guys and in here you need to search for windows compounds windows compounds expand it in here in inside of windows compounds you need to search for windows update guys for that type in keyboard w and click anything here in it windows update windows update you just need to click on it expand it and in here manage manage end user experience you just need to click on it on right side here is option guys configure automatic updates just need to double click on it here is option guys not configured you just need to select disabled and close out of here disabled select disabled and apply and ok and close out of here guys after that let's move on to the fourth step guys final last and finals uh, go to search menu and type regedit registry editor open it click yes now in here you need to go to hkey local machine expand it guys software expand it microsoft expand it and search for windows folder guys click anything here and type w in keyboard here is a folder windows folder you just need to expand it and you just need to create the windows update folder if you having windows update folder if you don't want to create it but you don't did have did not have it you just want to create it guys for that right click on the windows folder and click new and key just need to create windows w caps 
Windows update U caps update Windows update and I just want to create it and press enter in Windows update you just want to create create another folder guys that name AU caps letter AU for that right click on the Windows update folder and click new and key you just need to name it as AU caps letter both of it and press enter on after getting AU in here on right side you just need to right click on the blank area and click new devote 32 value and you just want to name it this value to us n o n caps letter n o a caps letter a u t o no automatic auto no auto updates guys that's name it as n o a u t o u caps letter u p d a t e presenter double click on it and value data must be one guys after that click yes click ok and go back to the desktop close out of here and now your windows update will be disabled permanently whenever you want to update it go to search menu and type settings here is option guys Go to settings and on left side here is option windows update and in here we just disabled the windows automatic update guys but you can manually update it whenever you want it uh, that's why i'm showing it go to windows update and check for updates so you just want to update it every time you want to and you must be having here you are up to date that's it guys. I hope this tutorial definitely helpful guys. Give me a like and subscribe. Thank you.